Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a really simple look with a few products um, that I have and I'm really excited about them because I've not used them very much before and I've only just got them but I'm going to start with this, so it's Lily Lolo I've got some gorgeous products from Lily Lolo I've got two blushes, um, I've got a setting powder and I've got two eyeshadows and kind of I don't have a kabuki brush this size I have one... I have several sort of this size, which are, are really cute, but this is a proper big one that I quite like the look of. To begin with, I use two products. So I have my MAC, um, this is the Studio Mist Foundation, which you can either spray onto the back of your hand and buff on, or I spray it direct to the face with my eyes closed and breathing outwards, um, and then buff it in with a small kabuki brush, so um, that's pretty cool. And then I have a concealer, this is Boing by Benefit, which is really nice, and I'm now gonna put that just under the eyes. And you can see immediately, it's a very nice color on me, it kind of lifts this whole area. Pretty good. And anywhere else you think you need it, I'll have to need it here, just down the nose, maybe a bit on the cheeks to cover any redness. Then grab your kabuki brush and buff it all in. This buffing is brilliant and it feels really nice too, it's kind of relaxing. Very relaxing, just spreading it around evenly and it kind of reduces the risk of it later on just settling in my wrinkles. A MAC pencil in Smolder, which is kind of a black blue sort of colour, and I'm going to line all the way around. The top and lower lash lines. And this is one of my favourite pencils because it is so smudgy. So soft. Just line them both, it doesn't have to be neat because there will be smudging like that, and on the lower lash line again, it doesn't have to be too neat because there will be lots of smudging if you look at it quite close up, it does look a bit scary. <laughs> so this is a round contour brush, and I'm just going to give it a really superb smudge. But what I'm trying to do is control it a little, so I get a nice shape. And I'm going to wing it out a lot. Because I want my smoky eye to go outwards, rather than upwards. And it's so easy. If you don't have a brush like this, then just use a cotton wool bud, slightly damp, and that way it won't drag the skin around. And now I'm going to just work that slightly up and into the crease, well, slightly above the crease. like this. Really smoke it out, really nice and smoky. A nice layer. This is the easy way to do a smoky, smoky sort of look. You can see how that's going. Just go back over because you can see between the lashes gone a bit thin. So really keep it nice and smoky. It's one of my favourite looks this length. Now I'm going to take a brush and slightly wet it. Um, I'm just wetting it with some water. No big deal. And I'm going to take this. This is Lily Lolo. Oh, it's an amazing Kingfisher Blue. A lot, you really don't need a lot. There we go. So I've just sort of got some, just got some in the lid there. Take my wet brush, mop it up, 
and now I'm just going to place it just a light wash that's all I want I want a hint of this blue and a lot of the sparkle you can see whoa I'm just kind of dabbing it over the eyelid because I don't want the full-on colour but I want it to be a nice metallic shimmer if I put it on too thickly it's gonna look you know, really really bright and I kind of want to keep this sort of teal shimmer going now take a little bit of it dry just a touch and pop it on the outer corner and that's just going to intensify the colour there Now, the other product that I have is the finishing powder. Well, there we go. Bring it over there, finishing powder. It's very light. Take a kabuki brush. What I tend to do is load up the kabuki brush and then tap it off into the cap for use later. And just brush it down the nose. I'm not going to do the cheeks yet, just the forehead. Because what I really want to get it on is the eyelids. And that's just going to set it and stop it creasing. That's, that's really relaxing actually, I quite like that. And it's translucent this one, or oh, it looks translucent to me. So you can't see it on top of your eyeshadow at all. There we go. Blush. This is also by Lily Lolo. Just picking it up on the kabuki brush and tapping it out onto the lid and a good swirling motion will really force it up the brush this one is called ooh la la i'm just going to pop that on the cheekbones this is a gorgeous color there we are Just to give us some really nice colour. I like the, the mix of the two, they're quite good colours to go together. Pop away anything that's fallen down here. And then we're going to just use a sweep of this. Um, this is the e.l.f. Tone Correcting Concealer, but it's really nice to brighten up underneath the eyes. There is that pesky brush. And then we're just going to dab it in. And sweep it under. I'm kind of dabbing and sort of swatching so that it gets a really nice texture and what this does it keeps it nice and bright and shapes almost like magic. There looks nice and bright under here now looking good now next I'm going to take that setting powder again tap it off really work it into the brush and dust it down the face and I think this just gives you a really nice finish so what I tend to do is dust it down the face like this and then work it fine sort of swirly motions into where I want it all those places that you don't want too much shine or anything like that so that's that with the Lily Lolo setting powder and now I'm just going to finish off with uh, what is this this is a lip gloss by MAC. I can never get it out of the box. Oh, come on. Goodbye. And this is called First Bloom. And I really like it because it's a nice sort of naked colour. I'm just going to get a lip brush for this. Take some of it out. There we go.
cute colour, isn't it? Colour is another top of it. So no, nothing else over the lips. Just this, which is just a little bit lighter than my normal skin colour. I think it goes really well with the sort of dark, smoky eyes. Now I'm just going to put on a bit of mascara. Now, this is my own personal mascara, it's just a bourgeois one. So I can use What do you think of the quiff hair? It's kind of new for me. Oh, and I have to say I think lilash is starting to work because I've noticed uh, just over the last few days I think um, they're starting to curl up at the ends a little and um, <laughs> I'm doing my mascara and noticing the fraction of a second longer that it takes to pull it through how funny is that Yeah, I noticed they're looking a little longer, which I'm quite pleased about. There we are. And my spit of mascara. So there we are. That's the look finished. It's sort of this beautiful, I love this sort of sea green, absolutely gorgeous, with the smoky eye as well the naked lips with just a touch of gloss, sort of toffee-ish sort of coloured gloss and a nice bloom to the cheeks. So thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.